सदाशिव सारम सदाशिव सारंभा शंकराचार्य मध्यम अस्मदाचार्यपर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपराम ओ नैष्कर्म सिद्धि सेकेंड चैप्टर सिक्सटीएथ पेज थर्टी सेवेन्थ वर्स प्रमाणावगम्यवाद घटादिवदहम दृशे यो सिद्धि प्रमाण सकथ तय प्रसिध्य सुरेश्वराचार्य रेफ्यूटिंग दि अनात्मा फ्रम आत्मा आई दि सेल्फ एम आत्मा दि अहंकार आर् द सूक्ष्म शरीर ईज नाट द पार्ट आर् प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ आत्मा देर फोर प्रमाता आर् अहंकार ईज मई लोवर नेचर इट कैनाट बी इनक्लूडेड इन मी दि साक्षि चैतन्य once i understand the anatma thoroughly then alone i can understand what is atma clearly without understanding the anatma sharira trayam or pancha koshas without negating them without falsifying them i cannot claim myself as atma because anatma the sharira trayam are very closely intimately associated with me the atma i cannot physically separate them i have to intellectually sort out their falsity or their fallacious status i have to intellectually understand this process takes a lot of time for a, a seeker of moksha it is not that much easy to distance the anatma the body mind complex this is the toughest task you can easily say outside object external world as anatma it is object of experience whatever is drishyam is mithya we can objectify all other objects in the world whatever i am perceiving other than my body mind complex but the kshetram is very close proximate that world is remote it is far away at least a little bit distance is there i can do that easily but where it come when it comes to this anatma body mind complex ahankara i am that pramata i take that pramata as myself that lower i as myself i do not know what is higher i unless i study shastra thoroughly i never come to know this higher i that is why sureshwara acharya spending lot of uh, time to falsify this anatma is not a part of that uh, atma me the consciousness so so many uh, examples he is giving to prove this in this 37th verse we were seeing in the last class i introduced that is um, three types of um, 
I, we use that present I, past I and recognized I. <clears throat> present I, present when I am experiencing the object, present I, present tense I, Vartamana Aham. The Vartamana Aham is also Ahankara. Bhuta Ahamkara is also only Ahankara. That means past I. Remembered I is also Ahankara. Whereas recognized I in Pratyabhigna, when I recollect that past and this present, when I connect, I equate. That equating one is the Sakshi Chaitanyam, my higher nature. This higher nature is not visible. That lower nature is visible, gross body tangibly visible, subtle body I can uh, feel it. Whereas this uh, higher I, neither you can see it nor feel it. If you want to feel it, you want to see it, it must be different from you. Since body is different from you, you see it. Since mind is different from you, therefore you feel it. Everyone. You feel the mind, you see the body. But when it comes to Atma, neither you can see nor feel. That is why there is a difficulty to understand. That is why Shastra is required for that. Guru is required, teaching is required, learning is required, listening is required, Shravanam, Mananam is required, Nidhyasanam is required. Since that uh, higher I happens to be myself, because of which I am feeling everything, because of which I am seeing everything, that because of me, higher I, all feelings are taking place, all pramanas are functioning. Because of these pramanas functioning, I see everything, I hear everything. I enlivens the pramanas through pramata, pramata is enlivened by me. I am triputi vilakshanam, pramata, pramanam, prameya, vilakshana, sakshi, atma, chaitanyam, awareness, consciousness. What is the difficulty in owning up this, claiming this? You cannot claim unless you logically understand. I cannot be the Pramata Pramanam Prameya. I cannot. Why I am not that Pramata Pramanam Prameya Triputi? That also must be clear. Then only why I am Sakshi Chaitanyam alone? Why I am not Pramata? Why I am different from Pramanam Prameyam? Then only you understand clearly why you, the higher I alone is Satyam. For that you require a Nididhyasana. Whether you do Samadhi Abhyasa Rupa Nididhyasana or you can do Brahma Abhyasa Rupa Nididhyasana, it is your choice. But you have to contemplate on that teaching, dwelling, dwelling, dwelling upon that teaching again and again. Therefore, what uh, Sureshwara Acharya said in the last class, I said three reasons he gave Drishyatvat because Ahankara is a Drishyam, it is experienced by me, the Sakshi Chaitanyam. I am the one who is having Pratyaksha Anubhava of that ahankara that is um, drishyatvat similarly anumiti pramanam also we have used pramata can be inferred how do i know this ahankara is pramata because pramanams are working pramanams means pratyaksha anumana upamana ardhapati or you can take sense organs are functioning mind is functioning all pramanams are operated by whom by Pramata only, Ahankara only. So, as I am seeing the operation of the Pramanams, means of knowledge, there must be some Pramata. 
So I infer the pramata, anumiyate. That is the anum, anumiti or anumana dwara I can understand. So now what are the reasons he gave? Hankara is not the attribute of Atma. I repeat those three points again. Drishyatvat, it is a drishyam. Anir moksha prasangaha, if you take it as a intrinsic principle of Atma, you can never become muktaha, ahankara, makes you limited, jivaha, samsari. Therefore, anir moksha prasangaha. Then pramana siddhi, I said, I want to give that pramana siddhi. Um, yato radhihi pramananam saha katham punaha saha katham taihi prasidhyati because of whom these pramanas working can those pramanas establish this sakshi chaitanyam me the atma they cannot because they are functioning because of me how they can function to prove me they cannot prove me what is the shruti pramanam aham pratyaya word we have used i thought that i thought is pratyaksha anubhava then anumiti pramanam then shruti pramanam i said in the last class i will tell you um, about that mantra brihadaranyaka mantra 141 Purusha Vidha Brahmanam, first chapter, fourth Brahmanam, first mantra, first three lines, Soha Masmiti, second line, it is uh, relevant, but I will read from the beginning. Atmai Veda Magra Asit Purusha Vidha Sonu Vikshya Na Anyad Atmanaha apashyat soyam asmi iti agre vyaharat soham asmi iti agre vyaharat tatoham tataha aham nama abhavat this aham nama that is relevant for us when brahmaji the first before starting the creation there is no second thing thing I am only there here, aham asmi, that aham, he started from there itself, aham pratyaya, I thought. Aham pratyaya comes from Brahmaji time onwards, from the Sushti onwards. Aham nama abhavat, aham nama, I am, that is, what is my original name, real name, aham. The father, parents given name is my fake name. Everyone's uh, real name is Aham. I am, I am. After I am, only you use anything. Next Vyavahara happens. Aham Nama Abhavat. So name Aham Nan Angara Per Brahmaji used that. Everyone cannot say aham aham na, how to identify gold you bring, gold you bring na, how to find out, that's why that ornament you bring, ring you bring, bangle you can bring, chain you can bring, like that we say. Similarly, everyone is Atma in Namakarana time, in uh, um, Vedic tradition, what father says to that boy, child in the ear, Atma vai putra nama si. Your name is Atma. But I have two, three, four children. So what to do? I have to call by name. Therefore, I am giving you the name. Tata name, Kullu Tata name, grandfather, great grandfather, Naga, Venkata, Shiva, Subramanya, Sharma, like that they give long initial surname, everything they include. And one name they give, of course they call afterwards uh, Subbu, otherwise Siddhu, like that. Full name nobody calls. Hmm? They want only two words, two letters. Single word, letter they cannot call. 
that's why two letters they want every house you see every parent call their children name only two letters that will never make any sense but there it is happening in every house like that hmm? because there is a difficulty for them to call three letters name three letters name also they cannot call what to talk of big name so that is our pettiness human beings pettiness full name if you call the child remembers the significance of that name we are not giving that opportunity of also to the child children nowadays because we are keeping different different names and seeing the google nowadays in mosam enna google paaru you can do namakaranam anna enna per enna ingeyo germany language la iruka illa enna japan la iruka and the language hmm? there is no our vaidika nama 2000 names we have 2000 names means minimum vishnu sahasranama for boy vishnu sahasranama 1000 names for girl lalita sahasranama 1000 names in the rond ayiram perlo oru per kadikilaya google ku poi german la and japan language la idan solli per vekkrom adu vidungo paravale any how false name only but uh, when you call that name when you utter that name you get uh, that nama sadda word influence you i have lose my track now no that's why nama in some brahma ji said aham nama abhavat because brahma ji was alone there nobody was there at that time i am he says that is from there itself it is coming therefore that aham is sakshi aham <coughs> later only all this have come this is um, uh, shastra pramana that is radhi means siddhi na yataha pramananam siddhi all pramanas are available because of which sakshi chaitanyam that sakshi how it can be proved by this pramanas pramanas are existing because of pramatha pramatha means ahankara chitidavasa chidavasa existing because of chit with these words i concluded in the last class now let us go to the next so 23rd verse onwards up to 41 non stop he is going to negate negating the anatma sukshma shariram especially ahankara the ego okay dharma dharminoscha itaritar itaritar viruddhatmakatvat asangatihi now he is going to present another point says that anatma is jadam achetanam it is jadam how can you say this anatma is an attribute of atma atma happens to be chetanam atma happens to be chetanam anatma happens to be jadam insentient achetanam viruddha swabhavam dharmi the sakshi chaitanyam is chaitanya swarupam consciousness principle whereas anatma ahankara happens to be achetanam unconscious jadam inert entity that inert entity what here dharma dharmino cha dharma is ahankara that is inert and dharminaha means sakshi chaitanyam that is um, chetanam chaitanyam itare tara viruddhatvat mutually they are contradictory mutually they are opposing each other opposing each other because of that um, difference asangati is sambandha is not possible between them itare tare viruddha viruddhatmakatvat their nature is um, 
different intrinsically one is jadam another is chetanam they cannot coexist they can never have any association sangati means sambandha asangati means asambandha there is no sambandha between substance and attribute association they can never have substance attribute relation sambandha is always possible between noun and adjective sambandha atma is not a noun to have an adjective like ahanka so that sambandha is not possible asangati hi now he gives an example how they are quite opposite each other in verse number 238 ಧರ್ಮಿಣಶ್ಚ ವಿರುದ್ಧತ್ವಾತ್ ನ ದೃಶ್ಯ ಗುಣಸಂಗತಿ ಮಾರುತಾಂದೋಲಿತ ಜ್ವಾಲ ಸೈ ಶೈತ್ಯ ನಗ್ನಿ ಸುಶ್ರುಪ್ಯತಿ ಸಿಸಿ ಸಿಸೃಪ್ಸತಿ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಕೊಂಚ ಗಡಬಿಡ ಇಪ್ಪ ಬರೋಬ್ಬರ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ಸೆಲ್ಲಾಮಿ ತರ್ಟಿ ಏಟ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ನೈನ್ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಆಲ್ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ರಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಗಡಬಿಡ ಅದರ ಗಡಬಿಡ ವಾಟ್ ಇಂಗ್ಲೀಷ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಲೇಷನ್ ನೋ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಲೇಷನ್ ಓಕೆ ಗಡಬಿಡ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ತೆಲುಗು ತಮಿಳ್ ಓಕೆ ಧರ್ಮಿಣ ಚೆ ವಿರುದ್ಧತ್ವಾತ್ ದೃಶ್ಯ ಗುಣ ಅಸಂಗತಿ ದೃಶ್ಯ ಗುಣ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಅಹಂಕಾರ ಅಹಂಕಾರ ಗುಣ as an attribute ahankara guna dharminascha dharmina means chetana atma ahankara guna drishya guna is achetanatvam achetanatvam chetanatvam both are viruddhatvat both are quite opposite viruddhatvat asangatihi no sambandha is possible that is what aghatita ghatana patiyasi maya where sambandha is not possible we are creating sambandha marriage water how it can have sambandha with that sand it is not possible but your eyes are seeing water on the road and you are seeing silver on the shell you are seeing the blue sky your eyes are cheating or not your eyes are showing what water ocean blue color or green color your eyes are giving all wrong knowledge many times many times really speaking all agnan is having um, what they are having wrong vision pashyanapi na pashyati after coming to shastra also in spite of guru's teaching long time also pasyanna pi na pasyati they are not able to understand what to talk of other people not studying shastra can you imagine they can understand in their life after studying this much itself our mind is boggling what a amazing wonder of wonder struck everyone ascharyo vakta kushalo shchalapta ಆಶ್ಚರ್ಯೋ ಜ್ಞಾತ ಕುಶಲಾನುಶಿಷ್ಟ ಆಶ್ಚರ್ಯವೂ ಆಶ್ಚರ್ಯ ದಟ್ ಮಸ್ಟ್ ಆಶ್ಚರ್ಯ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಓಕೆ ಧರ್ಮಿಣ ದೃಶ್ಯಗುಣ ವಿರುದ್ಧತ್ವಾತ್ ನ ಸಂಗತಿ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ಸಂಬಂಧ ನಾಟ್ ಪಾಸಿಬಲ್ ಬಟ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಮೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಪಾಸಿಬಲ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಸೋ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಡೆಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಕನ್ಫ್ಯೂಷನ್ and confounded in that also and we are very confidently claim that i am mother i am father i am father uh, any sanyasi gnani is uh, they talk shastra and all these things adella avangalukku da they talk like that only namakella mudiyadu ani solli they will hmm, justify their ignorance and their nourish their ignorance and they put manure also <laughs> like manure watering fencing nourishing so much 
and continuing decades together. By that time, Guru also become old. Eh? And Guru is not able to teach it up to that extent also, they nourish their ignorance. Not you, some people outside. Uh, some people, because uh, lack of focusing on the Shastra, lack of uh, true interest in the Shastra. One word, lack of Mumukshutva, you can say, one word. They are not Mumukshus. Yes. Sincere Mumukshu, seeker of moksha, definitely will get jnana. Why they are not getting in? And the Mumukshutvam, Sadhana Chetushtaya Sampatla, Irikara, Nal, Viveka, Vairagya, Shamadamadi, Shatka Sampatti, Mumukshala, Thagarar, and Artha. This is the problem. And the Thagarar correct Pandamali, Enna Padichalu, Yatana Bukku Padichalu. Prasthana Travela, Mudichachi Swamini, Prakrana Grandhala, Mudika Poron, Narayake, Padichin Dirko, for advanced, advanced to Jolin Dirko, Analo in the Alavaka, a claim Panda Mudia the in Naria Tamil were the no theatre. Sorry, okay. You feel happy, no, when I speak Tamil, okay. Now see the second line <coughs> how the difference he is putting Marutan Dolana. Jwalam, Marutandolita Jwalam. That fire, kindled fire, fanned fire. That fire, Andolita, there is Andolika Ragam. Raga Sudha Rasa, Andolika Ragam, in Tyagraj Kirtana. So Andolita means um, well fanned, well kindled. Another. Andol, Andolita. Andol Dhatu Andol Dhatu uh, uh, Maruta Maruta means wind Marutena Andolita by wind because of wind Andolita Jwala yes yeah. Maruta Andolita Jwala Tam Maraton Maruta Andolita Jwalam that fire which is kindled by fan by wind like today's wind you see in chennai we have lot of wind today heavy wind hmm? that marut exactly uh, many times uh, uh, used to get uh, you know examples current present examples happens at that day and today we are talking about maruta maruta is so much in chennai especially I am talking from Chennai. For Chennai students, they know today heavy wind is there from morning onwards. Heavy wind. Why it is coming? There is some cyclone, something they are telling somewhere, some place. That wind it is showing here. So, Maruta has come. This is uh, Bhagawan's uh, blessing in disguise. We uh, always feel in our classes also. Many, many of you know that. Maruta, it is also not ordinary wind, heavy wind, heavy wind today. Daily normal wind is different, but today heavy wind, of course there is no fire and all. Thank God, fire is not required. We want only wind, that wind is there, that jwalam and shaityam, that shaityam means coolness. Coolness can never join together. Heavy fire conflagration and coolness can go together, can exist together. Shaitya means coolness. Agnim na sisprasati sprishdhatu. Na sisprasati does not uh, desire to come even near to that fire. That's uh, it, cannot desire, that is, desiderative form. Sisrup, uh, sisrup, um, <coughs> does not desire even to go near. That is the meaning. Agnim na sisrup, uh, sisrup sati. It saityam, coolness does not desire or cannot think of even go near to the fire. If it goes to near the fire, it will become hot. No, it cannot. Shaityam cannot. 
लाइक दैट लाइक दैट दट मच एक्सापल इज गिविंग अहंकार इज लाइक शैत्यम आत्मा इज लाइक मारतांदोलित ज्वालम चैतन्य चैतन्य अंड अचेतन अहंकार हाउ दे कैन को एक्जिस्ट वैट यू आर् टाकिंग वै यू आर् नाट लविंग मी टू गो फर्दर फर्दर पूर्वपक्षी सो एडमेंट पूर्वपक्षी मीन नाट ऐनो अवटसइड पूर्वपक्षी इन अवर् इंटलेक्ट ओनली नो देर आर् मेनी विपरीत भावना हाउ कैन ई बी प्योर ब्रह्मन There is lot of papa punya. So many other things are there. I have done so many mistakes, committed. Hmm? Uh, how can I be Brahman? You are not uh, na punyam, na papam, na saukham, na dukham, na mantra, na tirtham, na veda, na yagna. Aham bhojanam, naiva bhojam, na bhokta. Chidananda rupa shivoham shivoham. and the punyavan papavan and the jeevatvam bhavana from that lower i if you are listening you can never equate yourself to atma chaitanyam brahman all pervading brahman i am i am all pervading and all pervading tamil all i am not small but all i am not small but all remove that sm from small if you remove sm what remains all if i take myself as ahankara brother mother father wife husband all these things i am small if i falsify all of them there are my vesham only i am wearing a vesham i am enlivening all those roles in all bodies i am all so you want to claim as you are nature as all or you want to remain as small it is your choice who says sureshwara acharya says okay now let us go to 39th shloka all gadabida verses huh? gadabida words okay let me try श्रुति युक्ति अनुभव सो मिच लॉजिक रीजन आई एम गिविंग दीज मेनी स्टील यू वॉन्ट टू होल्ड ऑन टू दिस अहंकार and you can't uh, give up that if you don't want to give up that i will leave you and i will go for a head no, for it um, one onwards he goes into a new topic he concludes in the, with this 40 41 he concludes uh, this ahankara topic tasmat visrabdham visrabdham doubtlessly upagamyatam let all पूर्व पक्षी लेट आल पूर्व पक्षी एक्सेप्ट वाटर आल रीजन ऐ हेव गिवेन आल ऑफ दैम एक्सेप्ट बै पूर्व पक्षी हंकार इज डिफरेंट फ्रम आत्मा लेट हिम एक्सेप्ट दट ईज दिस इज री इनफोर्सिंग द प्रीवियस् ईडिया वाट एवर हि हेज प्रेजेंटेड एंड श्लोक थर्टी नईन in every drashta dra 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 wherever comes the dr that uh, uh, symbol and the down below they are uh, having little gap you have to keep it closer to that dakar and drashtr and uh, drashtratvam is not clear first word drishyatam is not drishyata is not clear dr should be there then second line also drishya and drishya adr sam da somewhere and dr rutvam somewhere and uh, second half also like that only please check okay now i'll read that shloka drashtrutvam drishyata chaiva naikasmin nekada kvachit drishya drish drishya drishyo na chadrashta 
ದ್ರಷ್ಟುರ್ದರ್ಶಿ ದೃಷ್ಟಿರ್ನ ಚ ಪೋದುಮ ಗಡಬಿಡ ದೃಶ್ 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 ದ್ರ ದ್ರ ಜ ಕಂಶ ಎದಿ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಎದಿ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಅನ್ನ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ಯು ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಡನ್ ಇನ್ ಉಪದೇಶ ಸಾಹಸ್ರಿ ಎಗೇನ್ ಸೆವೆಂಟೀನ್ತ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಸೀ ದಟ್ ಸಮ್ಯಂಗ್ ಮತಿ ಪ್ರಕರಣ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಆಚಾರ್ಯ ಅನಲೈಸ್ ಸೆಲಾಬ್ರೇಟ್ಲಿ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಎ ವೆರಿ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಟು ಗ್ರಾಸ್ಪ್ ಟು ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ದ ಅನಾತ್ಮ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಈಸಿಲಿ ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಅನಾತ್ಮ ಬಾಡಿ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಕಾಂಪ್ಲೆಕ್ಸ್ ಬಟ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಆರ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಅಟ್ಯಾಚ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಟು ಬಾಡಿ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಕಾಂಪ್ಲೆಕ್ಸ್ ದೇ ಕೆನ್ ಆಟ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವೈ ಸಮ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ವೈರಾಗ್ಯಮ್ ಈಸ್ ರಿಕ್ವೈರ್ಡ್ if vairagyam is not coming at least through reasoning through um reasoning means yukti logic the logic at least if you are not able to understand logic you must totally surrender to the shastra words shraddha complete shraddha totally surrender whatever shastra says is correct at least after some time you will get that clarity now look into the verse here what he wants to say um, in one atma the subjecthood and objecthood cannot coexist if subject object joins with the subject then there will be no object if subject joins in the object there will be no subject therefore subject and object drishi means a subject sakshi chaitanyam drashtru drashtrutvam sek ekasmin ekada kvachit drashtrutvam drushyata cha eva na ekasmin in one locus in one entity in one entity one and the same entity ekasmin ekada at the same time so ekasmin shows that desha in one entity ekada refers to time at the same time kvachit anywhere at any time drashtrutvam the subjectness drishyata the objectness can never exist naiva na eva cha na eva chaiva na naikasmin is there na ekasmin ekasmin ekada kvachit drashtrutvam drishyata cha na bhavati so subjectness and objectness are uh, objecthood and subjecthood can never exist in one and the same they cannot existing in the one and the same entity at one and the same time it is not possible why drishyata drishya darshyo mm. ದೃಶ್ಯ ದರ್ಶ್ಯೋ ಸಾರಿ ದೃಶ್ಯ ದೃಶ್ಯೋ ನ ದ್ರಷ್ಟ ದ್ರಷ್ಟುರ್ದೃಶಿ ದೃಶಿರ್ನ ಚೆ ವರ್ಡ್ ಸಿ ದೃಶಿ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಅ ಸೀಯರ್ ದ ಸೀಯರ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ದೃಶ್ಯ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಸೀನ್ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ seer is not seen by what it itself seen by him seer is not seen <laughs> i the seer cannot be seen by myself so if i want to see like in monologue in dramas this person just stand giant stand here another character um, dialogues he want to go he goes that side and talk and monolak and two double action one person want to do suppose he goes there and that person will again comes here and talks this dialogue 
our children used to play when there are no second child in the family what single child family's children do this is also another example the child himself carom suppose they are playing the white coins and the black coins are there so there must be someone to play the white side and the black side one person only one child is there mother goes to office father goes to office child alone is there at home to play what to do and hmm? a child sit this side and play white coins side and goes other side also black side also coins opposite side and sit and play hmm? like that uh, the subject uh, want to um, see the subject suppose it has to become object it has to go that side and see the object subject goes object side that uh, subject has become object suppose that object to see the sub uh, uh, to see to be seen by the subject uh, there is no subject i am confusing i think i am not confusing uh, it is what to do that shloka is like that subject cannot become the object subject suppose desire let me see myself i want to see myself subject subject want to see itself suppose subject goes to um, uh, see myself and it has to go to opposite side object side then the subject want to see something object is different from it but subject to goes and stand at the opposite side object side there is no subject to see again here also as an object suppose object <coughs> object want to see that subject object comes subject side there is no object to see anything enough of confusing i think okay yeah. okay uh, this uh, same principle cannot be at once at a time seer and the seen seer means subject seen means object uh, one entity cannot be the same subject and object both <coughs> either it can be seen or it can be seer either it can be subject or it can be object both it cannot be why the seer is not seen by what is itself seen by him the seer cannot is not seen seer is not seen means i the consciousness cannot see myself simple i the consciousness myself cannot become the seen if i become the seen who is there to see there is no seer if i want to uh, become a seen object there must be subject nane ange seena irunda seer yaar adanalla seer avum irukano sakshi chaitanyam seer seen is ahankar that is why don't mix up and mess up ke kare drishya drishyo drishya drishya drishyo ho ek here you have to do anvaya properly drashta drashtur drishi darshanam cha na bhavati so drashta drashtur drishi drashta the seer cannot drashtur drishi he cannot be the seer of the seer drashta the seer cannot be the seer of the seer drashta can be the seer of the seen drishya drishyata he cannot see the drishyam but he cannot see the seer because his seer happens to be himself therefore therefore what further he clarifies hair split another hair split is there a hair split and still further he want to um, clarify so the recognized i uh, past i present i ella gnapakam vechukona manasilo so atma is ever the seer what is the essence of this line atma is ever the seer 
never the seen. Atma is the seer, Swamini, who is our mind. Therefore, what we have to do? I, the Atma, am ever the seer, never the seen. Seer of what? All scenes, all are anatma objects. Therefore, I am the seer. When always Sada Aviluptaha, he said, I never have any absence. I am ever evident. That is the meaning. Since Hankara is known through I thought, it is Pratyaksha Siddham, it is Arsakshi Siddham. Therefore, Aham, Atma, alone. I am Satyam. But Ahankara, false. It is seemingly real, not uh, absolutely real. So, Drik, subject. Drishyam, object. Cannot be at the same time, at the same um, place. They cannot have any relation. Next uh, verse. Number 40. So this verse, Drashta Atma cannot be Drishyam or object of uh, Ahankara. Drashta Atma can never be the object of Ahankara. That is statement 1. Uh, Drashta Atma cannot be the Drishyam or object of Ahankara. Object of Ahankara means what? Drashta can never become drishyam to ahankara. So drishyam, the object cannot objectify the subject atma. Drishya ahankara cannot objectify the subject atma. The subject seer atma cannot uh, see itself the seer. The subject uh, uh, the commentators, uh, they write, so I have to translate and tell you how the sentence of the second line, they say, Drashta Atma cannot be Drishyam. Drishyam, the object can objectify the subject, uh, Atma cannot objectify the Atma, the subject. The subject seer Atma cannot see itself itself who seer cannot see the seer seer cannot see itself idella puriyilanna or phone number you dial your phone number your own phone number you can dial all phone numbers except your phone number why can't you dial your phone number you cannot dial your phone number However great phone it is, you know, <laughs> no, smart phone, and uh, in the smart, uh, you cannot dial your own phone. So, seer cannot be seen, that is the tatparya. Okay, now, if seen becomes the seer, suppose, see, uh, seen object becomes the seer. Object becomes the seer. Object seen becomes the seer. Okay. Now this, where, who is there to see? Seen comes into the seer status, there is no seen to see. That is what he is going to say in 40th verse. I will introduce. Evam samyavahara samyavahara lopascha prapnoti yasmat Vyavahara to happen, Vyavahara to take place, interactions to take place, subject-object division is required. Bhokta, Bhogyam, both subject-object division is there, that's why Vyavahara is going on. If you say, object to want to come to the seer status, seer status, subject status, then who will be there to objectify nobody will be there suppose subject goes to object side and it becomes object who will be there to see 
therefore therefore what evam sarva samvyavaharah alo lopascha vyavahara lopa all vyavahara proper vyavahara cannot take place everything chaos everything chaos prapnoti we will arrive at that confusion we can arrive we will arrive at that confusion just as fire can be there water can be there at a different place different time they can be there water and fire at the same time same place it is not possible like that only here also here also same like that so what he says i'll slow kai i'll read esmat विकास गिव्स रीजन दृष्टा यदि दृश्याया आत्मेया कर्मता धीय दृश्यपदारीसो दट लेटर दृश्य इट शुड बी नियर यौगपद्यमदृश्य वैर्थ्यम चाप्या श्रुति यु गो इन कीपिंग विथ स्मृ श्रुति देर इज नो प्रॉब्लम पीपल विथट श्रुति सपोर्ट विथट हैविंग श्रुतिवाक्यम दे डू आर्ग्युमेंट्स वै पीपल गेट कन्फ्यूशन or they are not able to arrive at a conclusion because they leave out the shruti statements and they go on and on and talking on their own imagination or speculation that is the problem with many people you can discuss with your colleagues vedantic students suppose always talk based on the shruti statement don't talk on your own don't discuss don't argue you can argue so and so mantra that mantra that word that line you can take up and discuss wonderful that is if at all you want to do first of all nobody dare to do that because that much uh, thorough sincere study is there only they can do that if at all you want to do talk anything take one mantra one word in bhagavad gita or upanishad you can discuss argue wonderfully but without vakyam without uh, gita word or upanishad word you yourself go on and on talking you arrive at uh, inconclusiveness inconclusiveness confusion confounding you are confounding your confusion and blaming the shastra not uh, going in a proper track people blame the either guru or shastra guru there is no dosha in shastra in shish guru also at their capacity shrotriya guru the one who has studied shastra thoroughly that shrotriya guru never misleads us those who are not having shastra gnana they may mislead but those who are having shastra gnanam they never mislead that's why we require a guru we study with guru always those who are in shastra in keeping with shastra they are called parama gurus and very few people get such type of gurus and studying shastra but many maximum people won't uh, accept a guru they think guru means a human being ordinary human being it's not like that we never look upon guru as a human being ordinary human being i look at guru as shastra shastra talking to me through him or through her i should see like that even though i am looking at the body of the guru talking expressions are going on but my vision go beyond the body mind complex of my guru 
Shastra Mata is coming, flowing through that medium. That is why I give reverence to my Guru, not to the body. Such students definitely get uh, the clarity. Shastra Bhakti is there. I never look down upon my Guru as just a human being. Shastra, Shastra Mata, man, um, that means um, Shastra is there in front of me, that's all. I can talk and talk more and more on this. Okay, look into this sloka. Drashtapi yadi, suppose, yadi, yadi later we will take. Drashta, drashta, atma, atma is drashta, seer, aidi atma is. Say it like that. Aidi atma, I am the seer. Drashta, Drashta api, even Drashta also, seer I the Atma also, Drishyaya, Drishyaya, Drishyaya means object, of that object, of that object, Drishyaya dhyaha, dhyaha means here objecthood, Drishyaya dhyaha means the object hood of that object, the object hood of that object, drishyayahadhyaha, the object hood of object, iyat, karmatam iyat, iyat karmatam, iyat means to become, iyat to become, to attain, the object of Mind, mind, here dhyaya means mind. The object of mind, dhyaha, sashti vibhakti. The object, hood of object, the karma tam iyat. Who drashta api, drishyayaha, karma tam iyat. So he says, if the seer were to be objectified by the intellect, in the translation what here they have given you see if the seer were to be objectified by the intellect intellect is called ahankara sukshma shariram chidabhasa sahita antahkaranam dhyaha which itself is the seen which itself is the drishyam hmm? seen means drishyam which itself is the seen in relation to the seer karmatam iyat it is uh, itself is a seen to the seer. Then both the seeing self and the seen intellect should be simultaneously. Next line. Yoga Padyam simultaneously there will be a uh, there will be no object at all. Simultaneously there will be no, both seeing and seen won't exist. Both are uh, as both are seers, if they become both are seers, no object suppose, object is also seer. Rund seer, poi enna panna pona? In the seer, and the seen also comes as seer, and uh, seer, seer, enna panna mounio? Seen is not there, what they can see? Seen is not there, the seerhood will go away. Seer is seer because of seen. Seen is seen because of seer. Object is object because of subject. Subject is subject because of object. Object comes become a subject and there is no object. Then subject status won't be there. Suppose subject goes into object status. I have already pointed out. He is emphasizing again. Subject comes to the object status and whom he it can see. see. There is no subject to see. That is what he says. As both are seers, there should be no object of seeing. And the Shruti would be useless in that case. Shruti becomes irrelevant, meaningless, redundant. Okay? More in the next class. 
ओम पूर्णमद पूर्णमीद पूर्णा पूर्णमुदच्यते पूर्णस्य पूर्णमादाय पूर्णमेवावशिष्य ओम शांति 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 हरि ओम श्री गुरुभ्यो नम हरि ओम